<clears throat> my dear brothers and sisters, respected loving viewers, my humble seat around to each one of you. It is my distinct honor again in welcoming you to another program of Dharma Ki Avaz, the voice of Dharma. I would like to thank all of you for taking time off to view this telecast and also I would like to express my deepest gratitude and thanks to my sponsors for sponsoring tonight's program. My dear brothers and sisters, friends, Dharma Kiyavas is a program to enlighten all of us, to bring facts from the Shastra, the scriptures, that will enable us to walk the path of Dharma, of traversing the path of Dharma, so that we can able to bring happiness, peace and comfort and joy to our own self. Nobody can do that for us. Only we ourselves can bring to ourselves joy and happiness and destroy from ourselves sorrows, miseries, pains, sufferings and so on. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, viewers, I ask of you to join me in moments of prayers as we seek God's guidance. We seek God's blessings and inspiration. Let us all pray. Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha Om Shri Saraswatiya Namaha Om Shri Guru Charana Kamale Bhyo Namaha Om Shri Narayana Namaha Om Vatratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvigadam Kurme Deva Sarvakadishu Sarvada Om Saraswati Namastubhyam Varde Kamarupini Vidyadambam Karishyami Siddhir Bhavatume Sada Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha Sarve Sarve Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pasantu Makas Jedukabhavave Om Shanti 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 Haryo My dear brothers and sisters, viewers, I begin tonight's program with a beautiful quotation. Sabke hirde me shubuddhi aur kubuddhi rehte hai. Again, sabke hirde me shubuddhi aur kubuddhi rehte hai. What that tells us? Sabke hirde in everyone's heart, in everyone's mind. Me in Shubuddhi or Kubuddhi Rehete hai. Rehete means to live, to dwell, to reside. In everyone's mind resides Suk or Duk. Sabke Hirdai me Shubuddhi or Kubuddhi. Shubuddhi, intelligence. Kubuddhi, ignorance. And intelligence is wisdom. And wisdom is happiness. And kubuddhi, ignorance, is misery. Ignorance is sufferings. Ignorance is, is pains. So in the heart or in the mind of each one of us reside ignorance and intelligence. Wisdom and ignorance. So my dear friends, that which fulfills our interest is called good. That is wisdom. That is when wisdom prevails. That is when 
intelligence prevails. And that which brings us to miseries, that which brings to us rather misery, or anything which we do not want, which we do not like, is called ignorance. Misery. Problems. So, good and evil, therefore, exist in the minds of each one of us. There are times we'll good. There are times we'll be so good. We'll be charitable. We'll give. And there are times that we will be very bad. And we will do bad things. Which reminds us that Shri Ram or Ravan Hamara Dil ke Paas hai. That God and the devil are both within each one of us. Today, many people, they are seeking the devil outwardly. Many people, they are looking for the demons outside. Thinking that, oh, a demon will come in a human form and walk before us. Forgetting the demonic qualities within each one of us. Forgetting the demons that is found or that can be found in each one of us. So it is impossible. It is impossible to find anything that is absolutely good. Or is it, it is impossible to find anyone that is absolutely good without no flaw. Without no fault. And vice versa as well. The opposite. That it will be absolutely evil. That we can find anyone in this world that is absolutely evil. And there's a beautiful bhajan that comes to mind. A beautiful song rather that comes to mind. Name bhagavan hu. Name shaitan hu. Dunia jo chahe samje, main to insaan hu. I'm not God. Na main bhagwan hu. I'm not God because I do not possess all the good qualities in me. Na main shaitan hu. Nor am I a devil because I do not possess all the demonic qualities in me. Dunia jo chahe samje, main to insaan hu. The world recognizes me. Has been a human being because there are some good and there are some bad in me. There are times that I will do good and there are times that I will do bad. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, Hamara Manne Arjun or Duryodhan Rehete Hai. These are the two forces, representation of the two forces. Arjuna represents wisdom, Arjuna represents good, Arjuna represents righteousness. On the other hand, Doryodhan represents evil. Doryodhan represents unrighteousness. So, righteousness and unrighteousness is within each one of us as well. Now friends, that which we call good is only one stage, one episode. And the other is evil. When we ignore one stage, when we ignore one episode, we see the other stage before us. When you try to avoid good, then certainly you'll see bad. Or when you try to, um, you try to not to see evil, then you'll see good. So the same event may produce result. The same whether it is good or whether it is bad, produce some sort of reward. So if we do good actions or if we think positively, then the result will be good. On the other hand, if we do evil action or we think negatively, then the result will be negative. As simple as that. 
Like for example, starvation in Africa is bad. But starvation in Africa make the Americans richer, which is good because they yield a lot of profits. Because the American will grow and sell to the African country. So what is good for one person may be bad for the other person. And that is every aspect of life. That is just to show us that good and evil are always dear. Righteousness and unrighteousness are always dear. Happiness and sorrows are always dear. And so my dear brothers and sisters, friends, it is simple. When we look very carefully that, for example, a man kills another man on the battlefield. A man kills another man on the battlefield. A soldier kills another soldier on the battlefield there. He is not doing anything bad. He is protecting the country. The interests of the country, the border of the country, he is protecting, which is good. But the same man, if he kills another man, not on the battlefield, but anywhere else, then that is murder, that is bad. And he'll be penalized, he'll be punished for that. That is to remind us that when we perform an act, we must be careful to ascertain whether the act is good or bad. Whether the act will bring happiness or peace, uh, happiness or sorrows to us. Simple as that. So my dear brothers and sisters, friends, in a beautiful chapai of the Ram Charitra Manasa, Tulsidaji reminds us when he says, Jaha Sumati Taha Sampati Dana Jaha Kumati Taha Bipati Nidhana Jaha Sumati Taha Sampati Dana Jaha kumati taha bipati nidana Jaha sumati taha sampati nana Jaha kumati taha bipati nidana Jaha kumati taha bipati nidana Shri Rama Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama Shri Rama Jai Ram Jai Jai Rama. Tulsidasji reminds us in his beautiful writing of the Ram Charita Manasa says that Jaha Sumati Taha Sampati Dana Jaha Kumati Taha Vipati Didhana Where there is Sumati Where there is Subuddhi Where there is Wisdom Sampati Dana Taha Sampati Dana There you find happiness there you find joy, there you find prosperity, there you find all sorts of contentment. And where there is kumati, where there is kubuddhi, where there is ignorance, where there is evil intention, where there is wicked thinking, there you find sorrows, there you find miseries, there you find problems, there you find destruction, ruin. So my dear brothers and sisters, friends, we therefore cannot draw a sharp line of demarcation between good and evil because it is found within each one of us. In Satyuga, there was good. In Treta Yuga, the evil rise itself to a little that the Lord has to travel from Ayodhya 
go to Lanka and destroy the evil. The evil was in one place and the good was in another place. And there was a great distance from Ayodhya to Lanka was a great distance. And the Lord had to, had to travel from Ayodhya to Lanka and destroy the evil. In Dwapa Yuga, the good and the evil has come closer together now. That it is found in one family. The Pandavas and the Kauravas. And they live within the same palace. So the evil has not, there's a slight distance now from the evil and the good. Living in one palace, maybe wow, separating the, the good from the evil. In Kali Yuga, in this age that we are living in, the good and the evil has come so close that there's no wall separating it any longer. It is found within the same mind of every individual. So, we cannot draw a sharp line of demarcation to separate the good from the evil because it is within each one of us, friends. And that is something that we can't get away from. That is the reality of life. That is the truth of life. That the good and bad is within each one of us. That is why I said in the beginning, Sabkir dai me shubuddhi or kubuddhi In the heart and the mind of every being, there is good and there is bad. There is wisdom and there is ignorance. There is happiness and there is sorrows. Today you are happy, tomorrow you will be sorrow. Or this moment you are happy, another moment you may be sorrow. And so my dear brothers and sisters, friends, punishment and reward, according to the Vedanta philosophy, are but the reactions of our own actions. So, when we are being rewarded, Happiness, it is because of the good action that we have performed. But when we are being punished, it is because of the bad action that we have performed. So, according to the Vedanta, Vedanta philosophy, the reaction is either punishment or reward of the actions that we perform. So, it says that Every action must have a similar reaction. So if the action is good, the reaction will be the same. If the action is evil, then the reaction will be the same. No difference. And that is why Tulsidasji cautions us again when he reminds you and I and all of us. Karma Pradana Vishwakaridaka Tulsidasji reminds us, friends, that Karma Pradana Vishwa Karidaka Joja Sakaraiso Tassa Paluchaka Ayodhya Kanda When he says that according to your action, so would be the reward or the punishment. Exactly the same. Jo jasakariso tasapaluchaka. The fruit of the action would be the same as the action performed. Simple as that. So if the action is good, then the fruits would be good. If the action is bad, the fruit will be bad. In Sanskrit, we are says, we say. Yata karmam tatha palam. Whatever you sow, so shall you reap. And in Hindi we say, Jaise karmi, vaise bharani. Whatever you sow, so shall you reap. So if a, a, if a good act, if a good action is done today, the result may come at once or many after years or after lifetimes. It all depends. But friends, let me remind you that God never punishes the wicked nor rewards the virtuous. Do not believe or do not think 
that God is punishing you or God is rewarding you. God don't have time to punish anybody and reward anybody. We are being punished and reward by our own karma, our own actions. God don't interfere with nobody's karma. God don't come between nobody and his uh, and their karma. As a matter of fact, he doesn't come within his own karma or between his own karma. When Narad Muni cursed Bhagavan Sri Ram that he would be born on earth and he would be separated from his wife. Bhagavan did not uh, hesitate. Bhagavan did not come between his action and the karma, his karma and the result of the karma. Bhagavan came on earth. Mata Sita was uh, separated from him. So if Bhagavan, if God doesn't come between him, himself and his own karma, would God intervene in our karma as well? But if God, if we think that God will reward us and punish us, then we are thinking evil. God doesn't punish nor reward anyone. God shines like the impartial sun equally upon the heads of the sages and the sinners alike. The sun is impartial. The sun doesn't take sides. The sun doesn't say to the sages or the saints or the rishis that, oh, you are worshipping me, I shall give you life. And the sun says to the sinner that, oh, you are not worshipping me, you are sinning, that I will take away my life from you. No friends, no brothers and sisters. The sun is impartial. The sun shines equally on each one of us, on each and every tree equally. So is God. God is impartial. In, this, in the ninth chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavan Krishna himself reminds all of us when he says, Samoham Sarva Bhuteshu Nami Dveshtusti Na Priyaha. He says to Arjuna, that Arjuna, I am equally present in all beings. There is none hateful, nor there is none dear to me. He is close friend. Bhagavan himself is saying that he is not dear to anyone, nor is he hateful to anyone. It simply means that God is impartial. If God has to take side, then he is no God. If God has to be partial, then he is no God. I stop wor worshipping God. God is impartial. Bhagavan is impartial. And therefore he doesn't side with anyone. We Read the result of the actions that we perform, whether good or bad. So my dear friends, brothers and sisters, the message that I want to leave with you therefore is that within each one of us is wisdom and ignorance. If we allow wisdom to grow or we allow wisdom to predominate, then certainly we will enjoy life. If we allow wisdom to govern and to take control over us, then we are in for happiness, peace and success in life. We will be victorious in life. But on the other hand, if we allow ignorance to predominate, if we allow ignorance to, take, to uh, be dominant in our life, if we allow ignorance to take control and to govern us, then be assured that we are heading to Problems, sorrows, miseries, and destruction. So you decide. We have a choice. That is the, 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 the beauty of life. That God has created us and he gives us choices. You make the choice. You want to allow wisdom to predominate and allow your life to be happy. Or you want ignorance to predominate and make your life miserable. Let us decide what we want. But remember, the result is same. The result is same. Good brings good. Evil brings evil. So let me thank you so much for listening to Dharma Ki I hope I, uh, I do hope you understand what is about good and bad, and it is within each one of us. 
And so let us allow good to prevail and let us allow life to be full of happiness for us. Nobody can give us happiness and nobody can give us sorrow. We are the architect of our own destiny. We build our own future. So my dear brothers and sisters, let me thank you so much. Let me thank my sponsors so much for sponsoring tonight's program. And thank all of you for listening to Dharma Kiyavas. Thank the management and staff of this TV station, my competent operator, my Jiviki. God bless you for doing a wonderful job. And may we all enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Again, I want to remind you to be safe, to be careful. The virus is spreading very rapidly, as we can see more cases in our country. And therefore, we must take precautions. We must wear our face masks. We must wash our hands um, continuously to prevent the spread of this coronavirus. So my dear brothers, stay home and be safe. God bless all of us. Until next week for another program of Dharma Kiyavas, I leave you with Jai Shri Ram.